Okay, so now the next thing we're going to talk about is the SAM tab. Uh, we're going to go through uh, a couple of basic things on the SAM tab. Now remember, um, I'm only going to be covering in this particular video the most basic things you need to make the system work and, and get a server running. Um, this is not an advanced topics talk and it's not going to go into gory amounts of detail. Uh, those are other videos that you'll, you'll see on the site. You can go ahead and download those as I make them. So a couple of things. The first thing is the vSAN list, uh, as you saw in the first video when we set up the physical setup. I mean, that, that's something you have to set up right away. And so I've got the vSAN list here. Um, I only have vSAN 10 in the default. Um, the next thing that I like to configure are the uh, worldwide node name pools and port name pools. Now remember, this is fiber channel centric. Um, uh, the, the system, if you're using iSCSI or NFS, you don't have to configure any of this stuff, but this is only applicable for fiber channel. So we're going to call this, um, we'll call this NN pool one. And we'll say this is the description is um, WWNN pool one. Okay. And maybe we can change the name here to WWNN pool one. Okay. And these are the node names that are assigned to the actual adapter uh, versus the ports on the adapter. So you're only going to have one of these. That's why there isn't an A and a B. It's every server only has one. And, and generally what I like to do is I like to identify that with an FF um, in the third to last octet. And again, I'll, I'll make the size 128. and you're done there. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, the same thing goes with the PNs. Now on PNs, you're going to have a Fabric A and a Fabric B, just like before. So we're going to call this Fabric A, okay, WNPN Pool A. Actually, try to keep it consistent. Fabric A, WWPN Pool. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing like we did on the MAC address. I'm going to use A0, and I'm going to make the size 1.8. And then we're going to do the same thing on the B side. Now remember, these are assigned to the ports uh, on the actual fiber channel adapter side. Now remember, because we use FCOE, that all of, the, all of this stuff is all kind of virtualized because there's one physical adapter and it's going to look and appear to the operating system like it has a certain number of ports on it, even though it's one physical adapter, which is one of the, the real advantages of, of UCS is that it's very, very simple um, uh, in, in terms of its setup um, and, uh, and its execution. It's, it's very, very simple. So now we're going to have B0 here. And we'll make that one forward. Okay, so now that that's done. Now, the same thing holds true for VHBAs, right? So a VNIC is an Ethernet adapter that gets assigned to a server. Now we're going to do a, a VHBA template. Um, same type of thing. Um, so I can, I can go on here, and on the template, um, I can do the same thing. I can create um, different HBA templates. So I'm going to call this, um, call it bare metal. Uh, a, and I can point it toward the A, put it in vSAN 10, make it an updating template, and pull its WWPN out of Fabric A. Right? Very basic, very simple. The other thing you're going to realize, right, is that there's no failover checkbox um, when it comes to uh, Fiber Channel, because all of the different operating systems involved uh, have their own, uh, what they call MPIO, or multi-path IO capabilities, and those are determined on an operating system by operating system basis. And so we, um, in UCS, we do not have to specify failover or no failover because the operating system is going to manage all of the fiber channel paths off of a single adapter. So now that I have those done, that's really all that needs to be done on the fiber channel side because the ports are up, the vSAN list is there, the pools are there, and the VHBA templates are there. Now remember, both VNIC and VHBA templates are optional. You don't have to use them. I just like to use them because it makes it easier to update things later on. Um, so uh, 